Yeah. Are you good? Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. So glad you're here. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can you help us with the dog? <laughs> Downward? Oh, that All right, let's, uh, hi. Hey, we're going to go on. You can be like. immunity and good spirits. Let's rub our hands together. Take a deep breath in, roll your shoulders back. Pull in that root chakra because we're going to try and keep it in all day. Keep that energy locked at the root chakra, the root lock, Lula Banda, and pull it up for the whole class. Think of your intention for the day. One word or two. And giggle it with a beavis and butthead giggle into your hands. Rub your hands together. <laughs> Inhale, shoulders back again, hands to heart, thumbs to sternum. <coughs> Exhale. Do Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times, calling our higher self into our practice today. Inhale. Om. Send that root foot energy up to the crown of your head. Exhale, with hands on knees, and we'll start Sufi grind. Inhale in the front, exhale in the back. Jump rope for the spine, finding our knots, tight spots, gently working the mouth at your own pace. And we can switch direction, inhale in the front, exhale in the back. If you want to have a mantra in your head, it can be sat, inhale, nam, exhale. It means the truth is within me. And as much as you can, keep that root lock engaged. Your belly engaged to protect your lower back and a smile in your face. Your eyes are closed, gazing at your third eye during most of this practice. Neutral, inhale. Pull that energy up. Exhale, hands on shins, and we'll do camel ride 
Inhale in the front, exhale in the back. <clears throat> Root lock and belly are engaged, protecting your lower back. In Kundalini, the, your age is determined by the age of your spine. This initial <coughs> work that we do is deep core. Front to neutral inhale. that energy up. Exhale, hands on knees. We continue the camel ride. Belly's engaged, locks engaged. We're working on the heart center here. <clears throat> Chin stays parallel to the floor. Neutral inhale. Pull up that energy. Exhale. Hands are in Gyan Mudra. Index fingers and thumbs. Palms in receptive towards the sky. Meditate for just a minute. Notice how you feel compared to when you walk in. Okay, we're going to take our fingers and thumbs like this, and we're going to put them in our armpits. And we're going to inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down for a minute. me and you have really bad sinuses doing this the staccato breathing helps a lot Inhale, arms up. Giggle and flap your wings. <laughs> that was not on purpose. Arms up. And now we're going to do for a minute left and right. So same position. Arms up. Inhale left. Belly's engaged. Protect your back. Exhale right.
neutral inhale. Pull that energy up. Smile on your face. Exhale, shake out your arms. <coughs> We're going to put the arms out, fingers are open, we're going to raise up and lower. Inhale, exhale for a minute. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. without a kazoo in my nose. On the inhale, we're going to turn ourselves so our feet are in front of us. And we're going to lean back on our hands. I would try and stack your arms versus bending your elbows. And we're going to raise up one. Hold that belly in, protect your back. Pull in the root lock. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down for a minute. And go. Inhale, come up to neutral, shake out your legs. Exhale, and come back on your elbows. Knees straight, knees back. Straight. Elbows, you're leaning on your elbows. Is that okay with your shoulders? <coughs> If you need to put a leg down and do this, you can. 
where you just feet are on the floor and you're bending a knee. Inhale tall, belly's engaged, exhale lower. So this is the different sort of bike here. So for a minute, life nerve is our hamstring. Our legs are engaged, toes are pointing towards our chest. Tall, reaching tall, belly's engaged. Uh, mula, mula banda's engaged. And we're inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Neutral hands down. Inhale. Exhale. Which will wipe your legs. And let's come to standing. Feet are about hip width distance apart. <clears throat> hands are together like this. Uh, men, left hand over right, ladies, right hand over left. If you're not one of those, you choose. <laughs> so we're going to inhale, pull in that uh, core, that root lock, and we're going to inhale here, exhale, squat. And we're going to do that for two minutes. Here we go. Inhale. 
Exhale, squat. You want to keep your back straight. You want to kind of keep to about 90 degrees of your knees, and your knees never go over the front big toe. If it feels better to have your feet a little bit out, a few degrees from center, that's okay too. The most important thing is form, so slow down, make it less, if you need to adjust, change it versus lose form. If you can, smile. <laughs> Come up to standing. Release your arms. Inhale. I'm going to move out of the side. Yes. Exhale. Relax. Take a moment. Mountain pose. Legs are strong. Toes are engaged. Arms are strong. Breathe here. How did you feel when you walked in? How do you feel now? And shake it out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some uh, range of motion. So shoulders are going to be arms up all the way around. Inhale, exhale. You don't have to have your hand on your heart for some reason. That's a habit for me. Smile on your face. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Switch direction. And the other arm. Going backwards. In the other direction.
Inhale. Shake out your arms. Exhale. And on the next inhale, lean on your left leg. Left, yes. Open that foot up. Ground it in. Exhale here. Find a spot on the floor. Inhale and put that leg and tree here, here, or here. Pressing those limbs together, the heel against that thigh, isometrically holding each other in place. Put that thigh engaged, glute engaged. You can be in prayer mudra, cactus, or full tree. And we'll breathe here. The energy is going as above, so below, and also toward the center as you reach up. breath in and release. <laughs> My timing of falling over. <laughs> okay, so take a couple breaths here. On the next inhale, lean on the right foot, find your spot on the floor. Inhale here. Exhale and pick your spot where you want to put that leg. Create that isometric pull toward the center. I also notice that if I pull that knee back and lean my pelvis forward just a little bit, I get actually more balance while I'm doing this central energetic thing and raising and lowering and rooting thing. I can find peace. Heart. Cactus. are stacked above each other. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Switch your feet. Inhale and come up to upward dog. Core is engaged. Lift your feet. Exhale, downward dog. Walk your dog.
the next inhale, raise up that right leg. Exhale, bend that knee and push the heel toward the opposite wall, engaging that glute muscle and the hip flexor. You can pivot your way around and find a happy place, but that's very personal. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, raise the left. Bend that knee. Push towards that wall. Gaze that glute and the hip flexor. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lower. And come down to table. are closed, gazing in third eye in between your eyebrows. Core is engaged to protect your lower back. Come to neutral. Inhale. Hold the breath. Wide your knees, touch your toes, and come into child's pose. Inhale, come back up to table. We'll do some more balanced table work. So from here, we will inhale and reach out the left arm and the right leg. Locking that, those hip bones parallel to the mat. to the wall, engaging your glute and toes, pushing toward that wall, hip bones are locked in place with your core engaged. Circle your 
back to our shoulder. We're going to engage our whole central core and our root lock. And we're going to engage our arms, and we are going to let this go with laughter to the person or group of people that need it. But first we're going to breathe. Inhale. Hold the breath. Squeeze everything. And let that arrow go with laughter. <laughs> Shake out your arms. We're going to do it again. <laughs> this time the right arm. Breathe here a second. Take that bow. Pull it back to your shoulder. Pull in that core, pull in everything, root lock. Pull that energy up to your heart. Inhale. Squeeze everything. Hold the breath. Exhale. <laughs> Shake out your arms. Catch your thighs. Catch your belly. Giggle. <laughs> it's just a soft giggle. We start really soft. You can pat wherever you feel like. Ask your body, where do you want to be patted? While you're giggling lightly, you start light. Don't forget your face and your temples. And the top of your head. Clap our hands. <laughs> the giggles can get a little louder. <laughs> okay, hands in Gyan Mudra. Just take a moment. How's that feel? You feel a little lighter. Hands tingling. On your next inhale, let's come back to table. So turning to your left. We're gonna inhale here. Exhale to down dog. Walk your dog. Inhale, left foot between the hands. Pivot your back foot and come into warrior two. Bend that front knee, not passing your big toe. Heels should be in line with your arch of your foot. Weight is on this side of the foot. Energy is coming into the center. Arms are reaching out. We'll breathe here. We are both tall and deep and wide. Smile on your face. By pulling the energy in toward the center here, I'm able to lower a little bit differently and deep, deep, more deeply. And I feel very strong. Next inhale, come up to reverse. Inhale, reach up. Come back to two. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the hands back and come into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. So upward dog and downward dog. Inhale, right foot in between the hands. Give it that back foot. Bend the front knee. Not passing the big toe, lining up your heel to your arch. Arms up. Energy going 
towards the center. Roots into the ground. Crown of head reaching to the sky. Bringing that centrifugal force to the skin of the head. straight, arms are out, core is engaged, that centrifugal force pulling that energy toward the center and down and above. Smile on your face and we inhale and lean to the left, put that hand on the shin and raise up into triangle and breathe. Center, switch your feet about 45 degrees back there. Straight forward on the front, Our leg is straight, centrifugal force, getting tall, arms are out. I'm going to inhale here, exhale, lean over that front leg, place that hand on the shin, come into triangle. If you can, you can be all the way down on your ankle or your foot, or up on your knee, whatever works for you. Inhale, pull, use that arm to pull you back up to center. Have your feet become parallel and wide. Come actually 45 degrees, a little bit of open feet. Bend those knees. Come into horse or goddess pose. Hands are in Gyan Mudra. Smile on your face. And we're just going to be here for a minute. Breathing naturally, eyes are closed, gazing at third eye. You are as low or tall as you need to be, moving as necessary. Core is engaged, root locks engaged. Breathe through the shivers if you get them.
come up. Inhale, arms up. Hold the breath. Shake it out. All right, let's come down. Go ahead and uh, take a few breaths and end up on your back. Your knees bent, your feet are hip width distance apart. Your heart, your uh, shoulder blades are knitted together, opening your heart. We're going to take our hands and clasp them behind our tush. So we're going to lift up our tush, clasp our hands, walk our shoulder blades together, lift up our glutes. And we're going to do fire breath here for a minute. And go. Slow down or speed up or whatever you need to do with the fire breath. are closed, gazing at third eye between your eyebrows. your hands and lower down. Breathe. Inhale, cross that right ankle over your left knee. Put your right hand through your legs and your left hand on the other side. Clasp them on either side, up just below your knee on that left leg. And you're pulling that hip flexor towards you without mushing. You don't want to lose tension in your ankle. Keep that strong. Inhale. Exhale, pull towards you just a bit. Inhale, here we are. Exhale, pull towards you just a little bit. Exhale, release. Lower those legs. Shimmy your hips to find a happy place while you knit your shoulder blades together and open your heart. You can shimmy left and right those hips, up and down. So you find your most comfortable spot for Shavasana. experiment with something here.
this, but even five minutes of meditation can transform our outlook on the day. So the invitation here is to allow for that opportunity and put any distractions to the side. Find a comfortable position and when you're ready, close your eyes. It can be helpful to close the mouth and breathe into the nose to touch. Let's begin taking some deeper inhales and exhales to bring in awareness to this moment. Take a nourishing inhale, expanding across the chest. And as you exhale, see if you can soften in your body. Another inhale, lengthening the spine to bring in the breath. And exhale, dropping any tension in the shoulders. Breathe in again. Opening up and exhale, letting go. One last intentional inhale and exhale. Let your normal breathing resume. Anytime you start to think about things you have to do today or something that happened yesterday or earlier before this meditation, bring the attention back to the breath. Call to mind three things you're thankful for. This day is yours to enjoy. This day is a blank slate. May you be open to the idea that you could be pleasantly surprised by what today brings. May you make choices that you admire and feel positively about. Today is a new opportunity to create goodness for yourself and others. Enjoy the preciousness of that chance. Open your eyes, welcoming in the light of the day. This meditation is complete.
shoulders back, inhale, hands to heart, thumbs to sternum, exhale, we'll close out with a long sock and a short thumb, the truth is within me, inhale, If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you know when I'm making a new video. If you want more yoga, put yes in the comments. Thank you very much. Have a good day.